bless us, strengthen us, keep us in your will and in your way now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Good afternoon, everybody. We thank God for allowing us to be with you tonight. And we thank God for what he is doing among his people. We thank God for how that he is still God. And beside him there is no other. He alone is God. And there's none like him. We ask you to continue to keep one another in prayer and continue to pray for each other. We're going to talk to you tonight about the greatest gift that God has given to the world, and that gift is love. That's the greatest gift that God has given to the world. And that gift is love. And I want to, what I want to present this in a way that maybe you have never thought of it. And because we know that the scripture says love conquers all. It overcomes all. It endures all things. And believe it or not, when you look at it from that point of view, when we operate in God's love, now there are two types of love now. There is agape love, which is God's love. And then there is filial love which is the human type love, love that we have between one another. Those two Greek words. Now, the filial love is a love that's between two human beings. It's conditional, which means that we will operate in that type of love based on our feelings or our emotions. So, um, what we will do is, uh, with the filial mm -hmm. love, is that if a person, uh, for an example, with a husband and a wife, a uh, girl or boyfriend, if they uh, have a disagreement and they break up, the filial love is the reason because of the breakup or the divorce. Then you have the agape love, like God loves us, which is a godly love. That love, regardless of what goes on, never changes. So God loves us with a love that never changes, regardless of how we act or feel towards him. His love never changes. So God loves us with a agape love. Okay? Not a filial love. He loves us with a agape love. The Holy Spirit that we have inside of us is a agape spirit. It is agape love. So when we follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, we and minister to one another. We are ministering with to one another with a God pay love. So when we uh, lay hands on someone and the healing takes place, that's an agape expression of love towards that person. Regardless of what type of sin that person has done or what what act that person have done, that agape expression of God's love healed that person even though that person is still in sin. It still brings about love 
of healing and deliverance without considering the condition of sin. That's agape. Because with agape, it never changes based on any condition or of, of, of sin or anything. And so what Paul teaches and what God is trying to get us to see is that and understand is that with this gift of agape, that we as believers and sons of God, that we have to learn how to operate in that expression of agape, that expression of love. So therefore, it is the most powerful expression of himself that he has given us. And yet, so many of us have not understand or understood this, what we have. And when he was dealing with me last week about this, and uh, in my early morning uh, meditation with him, right before Thanksgiving, and he was showing me, he says, this love will break uh, family separation. It will break unforgiveness. It will break bitterness. It will heal cancer. It will break bondages. It will bring, bring deliverance.